limited on time and you want to get the most out of your violin practice sessions. Hi, I'm violinist Heather Kay. I specialize in working with dedicated adult violinists who desire to develop sound foundation, impeccable technique, and play with gorgeous tone. As a passionate violinist, you may have gobs of music you want to get through but you don't have all the time in the world to practice. And you want to practice effectively to know that you are improving with every second you play the violin. How do we do this? First off, you want to schedule in your calendar your practice sessions. I know that sounds pretty simple as a first step, but it, it is super important to block out that time. Declare how much you are going to practice during the week. You may have one day that you could practice two hours, but you may have another day you only have 30 minutes. Be gentle on yourself and block out realistic time frames for your practice sessions. You may want to practice three, four hours a day, but realistically you'll only have those 30 minutes. The next step is to create a practice strategy or a roadmap per se. Write out what you are currently working on, skills, etudes, what books you're using, what pieces, everything that you have on your practice program, write it out so you can see what it is you're currently working on. If you find that the list is like way too big for the time that you have to practice, you may want to kind of prioritize, put some things on the back burner so that you know you can get to that later. The next step is to determine how many minutes you'll be spending on each. How many minutes you'll be playing your scales, how many minutes for your etude, how many minutes for your pieces. Again, keep it realistic. If you have only 30 minutes in a day, don't say you're going to spend 30 minutes on scales and then not get to anything else. So how do we avoid what I call self-sabotage on <laughs> your practice strategy? Declare exactly what you're going to practice. Look at how much time you have and divide it up within the time frame that you have to practice. So say you have five different things. You have your scales, you have your etudes, you have um, pieces that you're working on, let's say three different pieces, hypothetically. You only have 30 minutes a day. So I would spend six minutes on the scales, six minutes on the etudes, and then six minutes on each of the individual pieces. I'm not saying that's the healthiest practice strategy, but if that's, if that's an example of how to break it down. If you're wanting a healthy violin technique practice strategy, you will love my calendar that I put together for 365 daily violin practice routines. Woo, I know. And it does include different violin techniques in there with shifting, with position work, with scales. If you're wanting a no think practice strategy and love following lists of what to do, you'll love my practice calendar. I will leave a link here for you to immediately download it and start using it in your practice sessions. When you practice, turn your phone off or at least on silent or on do not disturb so that when you are dedicated to your practice time, you don't have any distractions. Keeping a practice journal is a great way to stay on track. Now this journal could be a hard copy where you actually just write out, or it could be on the computer. You can use Google Docs or you can use Trello and just organize your practice sessions within that space. Write in as soon as you finish your practice session, what three things went well, what things three things didn't go well, and what three things you wanna start your next practice session with. Typically, those are the three things that didn't go well. And then you know exactly the next day what you want to work on in your practice session. In order to stay organized for your practice sessions, it's good to keep that journal nearby if it's a hard copy or, you know, you're practicing next to your computer and you can easily pull up your Google Doc or your Trello board that you are organizing your practice sessions. You have that there with you. Report in at the end of your practice sessions and then that way the next time you practice you know what you want to work on. Another tip is to make sure that all your 
pieces and etudes have their measures numbered. That way, when you write in your Google Doc what you want to work on, say measure 15, shift, I want to get that more accurate, you know, then it's going to be a lot more easy to go in and like a laser and work out the issues that need to be fixed instead of starting every single piece always at the beginning. I have a great video on using a practice journal and I'll put a link here somewhere around in the video and you can check out that video as well. Remember, isolation is key. Always drill the small bits. If you have an issue and within a measure, take what needs to be worked out between maybe three notes where you had a string crossing issue or something, break it down into the smallest bit possible and then grow from there. Practice your open strings. Wherever you have a fast or difficult technical passage for the left hand and your right hand has a lot of string crossings in there, actually take your left hand away and practice open strings only. So I'm gonna give you an example of this from Mozart 39. It's an infamous orchestral excerpt that every single violinist that's ever taken an audition knows the difficulty of this passage. And it has a lot of crazy string crossings in it. All right, so that's a pretty tricky passage with string crossings. What you can do, this is an example, so you can do this in anything you're working on, is take the left hand completely away and only work the open strings. And then that way you can get in there and get it cleaner and cleaner and focus only on the right hand so you can make those string crossings as clean as possible. You know exactly what open string you need to be on without the left hand being the determining influence of what string you're playing. It's a great way to isolate the right hand out of a passage. Record yourself. Take your phone, make a video of a small section and record yourself. Be your own teacher, be your own guide, have a good ear, listen to yourself and then you'll be able to know exactly what you need to improve on. I know so many violinists don't like to listen to themselves, they don't like to watch themselves, but that is how you will improve. The fastest way to improve is to start from the present moment, the reality, not to be in denial, really hear what you're sounding like, and get better by listening and improving that way. Everybody has started somewhere. Everybody pretty much sucked on a specific piece at one time, <laughs> okay? So the road to progress is understanding where you're at at the current moment and the fastest way is to record yourself, see what you need to improve on and improve on it. Record, listen, fix, repeat. Please share in the comments below. Out of these tips, which one are you going to implement in your practice session? Happy practicing.